Hi friends, on this topic we have already done two videos and this is the third video. Uh, in this I want to conclude in this video, this chapter. Now uh, what I do is I will take problems from your old question papers. I am taking three problems. Here, solve the following pair of linear equations by any suitable method. It carries two marks. This is the first problem I am taking. So, <coughs> x plus y is equal to 5. And the other equation is 2x minus 3y. 2x minus 3y is equal to 5. This is, these are the two equations given and we are asked to solve them. That is find the value of x and y, the variables. Now, this <coughs> here, y has got, y, the coefficient of y is 3 and here the coefficient of y, here coefficient of y is 1, here it is 3. Now, to make this also 3, to make them equal, I got to multiply this by 3. This equation, this entire equation is to be multiplied by 3. This need not be multiplied or you have to multiply it by 1. If I multiply this equation by 3, it becomes 3x plus 3y is equal to 15. All the terms are multiplied by 3. Then that equation I will write as it is 2x minus 3y is equal to 5. Now, 3y, 3y are there. One is positive and the other one is negative. So, I can eliminate y by adding. By adding these two equations, I can eliminate y. So, if I add, they get eliminated. This becomes 3x plus 2x becomes 5x is equal to 15 plus 5, that is 20. Therefore, x is equal to 20 by 5. So I got the value of x as 4. 5 4s are 20. So I got that as 4. Now, by substituting the value of x in one of these given equations, it is, I will take the simpler one. x plus y is equal to 5. In this equation, by substituting the value of x, I can get the value of y. So 4 is the value of x plus y is equal to 5. Therefore, y is equal to 5 minus 4, that is 1. This is 1. So, x is 5, x is 4, sorry, x is 4 and y is 1. This is the answer. You can verify the answer. 4 plus 1 is 5. Here, 2x is 2 into 4 is 8. Minus 3 into 1 is five, 3. So 8 minus 5, 8 minus 3 is 5. So this equation is also satisfied and this equation is also satisfied by this values of x and y. Hence the answer is correct. You are sure of to get, we are sure to get two marks for that. So this is one problem. I have three papers. I will solve three problems now. First. The second problem is, the second problem is, find the solution for the pair of linear equations, x plus y is equal to 14, x plus y is equal to 14 and x minus y is equal to 4, x minus y is equal to 4. Here, very simple problem. This is also for two marks. There is no necessity to multiply by anything because here the coefficient of y is 1. Here also it is 1. So there is no need to do any further this thing. Now adding, adding 2x is, this y gets eliminated because one is plus y and the other one is minus y. 14 plus 4 is 18. 
therefore x will be equal to 18 by 2 that is 9 the value of x is 9 then in one of the equation x plus y is equal to 14 this is one equation now if i substitute the value of x here 9 plus y is equal to 14 therefore y will be equal to 14 minus 9 that is 5 so x is 9 y is 5 y is 5 this is the solution now you can verify it 9 plus 5 is 14 9 minus 5 is 4 so both the equations are satisfied so hence it is correct and we get those two marks next the third one the third one is the third one is solve the following pair of linear equations the given equations are uh, this is the third problem right this is the third problem third problem 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y is equal to 11 this is one equation the other equation is 2x other equation is 2x minus 4y is equal to minus 24 these are the two equations here I can eliminate x because the coefficient of x in both the equation is 2 so without any further this thing I can easily eliminate this x and find the value of y minus 4y is equal to minus 24 these are the two given equations now I am going to eliminate x here here the sign for both of them is plus both are positive so I got to subtract these two so this when I subtract this becomes minus this becomes plus and this also becomes plus so this 2x minus 2x it gets cancelled or eliminated 3y plus 4y it will be 7y here 24 plus 11 11 plus 24 that will be 35 therefore y will be equal to 35 by 7 so I get 5 the value of y is 5 now by substituting the value of y in any one of these equations I have to get the value of x 2x plus 3y is given as 11 so y is 5 so 2x plus 3 into 5 is 11 so 2x plus 15 is equal to 11 so therefore 2x is equal to 11 minus 15 that is 2x is equal to minus 4 so x will be equal to therefore x will be equal to minus 4 by 2 that is minus 2 so the answer is x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 y is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 now verification 2 into minus 2 if I put minus 2 here 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 plus 3 into 5 is 15 so minus 4 plus 15 is equal to 11 that is correct verified now 2x again here is 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 minus 4 into uh, y is 5 that is 5 4s are 20 minus 20 minus 4 if they are added the sum is minus 24 so that equation is also satisfied 
So the answer that we have got, the answers, both the answers are correct and hence you will get two marks there. No problem, no worry. Then, after this, I want to take up the solution of a pair of linear equations by graphical method because that is going to fetch you, that is going to fetch you four marks. There will be a definite problem on this chapter wherein they will give two equations and ask us to solve the equations by graphical method and that problem carries four marks. Now in all these papers there is a problem on that. So I will take up that. See here in this paper, for example, this question paper. Find the solution of the following pair of linear equations by the graphical method. By the graphical methods, method and the equations given are this when it is given as graphical method it must be done by graphical method only if it is not if it is given by analytical method then we have to do it by analytical method only here very specifically he says that find the solution by the graphical method so you have to find it by graphical method i will explain you how to do it now the given equations are 2x plus y is equal to 8. This is the first equation. The second equation is x plus y is equal to 5. These are the given equations. Now here what we have to do is you do like this. Take the first equation 2x plus y is equal to 8. Therefore, y is equal to, first what we have to do is send everything other to the other side or express y in terms of, express y in terms of x. So y will be equal to 8, this 2x if it goes that side becomes minus 2x. So we have got only y here and everything else is transferred to the other side. Now, what we do is, we have to give values to x and then find the corresponding values of y. Put a table like this, put a table like this, the value of x, the value of y. Now, minimum you have to take three values, three values because less than three values will not be sufficient for a straight line. So, you give three values, any three values to x. For example, if I give x is equal to 0, this is in my authority, I can give 0, I can give 1, 2, 3, minus value, whatever value I want, I can give. So it is in our, this thing, uh, give a value to this. So 2 into 0 will be 0, this 8 minus 0, a y will be equal to 8. If we give value of x as 0, the value of y will be 8, right. If I give minus 2 as the value of x, minus 2 as the value of x, then 2 into minus 2, minus 2 into minus 2, that will be plus 4, 8 plus 4, that will be 12, y will be 12. If it is minus 2, minus 2 into minus 2 will be plus 4, 8 plus 4 will be equal to 12. Now I will give one more value, I will give 4. If x is equal to 4, 2 into 4 will be 8, 8 minus 8, this will be 0. So I got 3 points now. The first point is 0, 8 is the first point. The second point is minus 2, 12, minus 2, 12 and the third point is 4, 0, 4, 0. Now these values, it is in our hands. We can give any value you want. Minimum 3, you can have more than 3 also, but not less than 3. 
you have to give three values to x these values any values you want you can give and get these three points now what you do you take a graph sheet they will give it in the examination if you ask them they will give the they will supply the graph sheet they will supply the graph sheet on the graph sheet mark two axes one is x axis and the other is y axis mark these two axes mark these two axes then plot these points plot these points now this is the origin 0 0 plot these points 0 8 0 8 means 0 means you are not going to move x coordinate is 0 means you are not going to move this way or that way no necessity to move this point will be on the y axis 0 8 8 is positive so on this y axis mark a point 8 8 8 divisions here 0 8 then this is one point point number one second point minus two minus two somewhere here minus two twelve minus two twelve minus two twelve you plot that point minus two minus two means you will move to the left and plus twelve that is up up 2, 12. Then 4, 0. So this point will be on the x axis because y coordinate is 0. So 4 from here, mark here, somewhere here, it will come 4, 0. Now, if you have calculated correctly, these values are correct, and if you have plotted these points correctly, they will lie in a straight line. A straight line will pass through these points. A straight line will pass through these points definitely if you have calculated this correctly. These points have been calculated correctly and they have been plotted on the graph sheet correctly. Then you will definitely get a line like this straight line. It can be extended to any of these things. So this line is 2x plus y. This line is represented by the equation 2x plus y is equal to 8 or 2x plus y minus 8 is equal to 0. Now similarly what we have to do is take the second equation, take the second equation and again do the same thing. What you do first transfer everything except y onto the right hand side. Keep only y on the left hand side. The given equation is x plus y is equal to 5. This is the second equation. So y will be equal to 5 minus x. Right? You got only y here. Again put a table here. In this first x is equal to y is equal to you put minimum again three points minimum you have to have three points maximum you can have any number of points but minimum you have to have three points now I will give some value x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 5 minus 1 is this will be 4 y will be 4 if I give a value say 3 5 minus 3 is 2. If I give 6, the value is 6. This will be 5 minus 6, that will be minus 1. Minus 1. Now, again, these are the three points. What are the three points? 1, 4 is one point. 3, 2 is another point. And the third point is 6 minus 6, comma minus 1. These are the three points. Minimum you have to have three points. 1, 4, somewhere. 1, 4, somewhere here. 1, 4. 
Now, second point. This you have to do on the graph sheet. Correctly, you will have to do the on the graph sheet. I can't do it here, so that's why I am I'm not doing. Three two. Three two somewhere there. Three two six minus one. This point will be somewhere here. Six minus one. Six on the positive side. Minus one means you are coming down. Now, if you draw through these three points, if you draw a straight line, another straight line will come like this. This is uh, x plus y is equal to five. X plus y is equal to five. Two lines. These two lines are intersecting at one particular point. Now, at that point, what is the value of x and what is the value of y? What is the value of y? What is the value of x? You see and write those values. X is equal. where the two lines intersect. That is the solution. That point gives the solution. If you want, you can check the solution. How you will check the solution? You will check the solution like this. See, you can check it by analytical method. 2x plus y is equal to 8 and x plus y is equal to 5. Now here, the coordinates of y, coefficients of y are equal both the, here also it is 1, here also it is 1. Here also it is positive, here also it is positive. So if I can eliminate y by subtracting because they have similar sign, same sign. So this becomes minus, this becomes minus, this becomes minus, y gets cancelled. 2x minus x, that will be x, 8 minus 5 is 3, x is equal to 3. If x is equal to 3, y should be equal to 2. So this point somewhere here, we are getting x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. If you have got the same answer here also, that this is 3 and this is 2. No, sorry, this is y and this is x. x is 3, y is 2 if you have got here also, then that means the problem we have solved correctly and we will we are going to get 4 marks. That's how we have to do it. Now this has to be practiced. You have to practice a number of problems on this. Uh, if you want, I will do one more problem. I will show you one more problem. Find the solution of the following pairs of linear equation by the graphical method. By the graphical method. Again, two equations will be given. Only the values will be different. The procedure remains exactly the same. The more you practice, the more number of problems you practice, the better it will be and you can face the uh, in the examination you will be you will find the solution uh, the working to be easy the maximum number of values find the solution of the following pairs of linear equation by graphical method four marks the equations are one of the equation is 2x plus y is equal to 6 and the other equation is 2x minus y is equal to 2. Again here, first equation, take uh, y will be equal to 6 minus 2x. This is the first equation. Now, draw, make a table. Make a table of the coordinates. So, x is how much? y is how much? What is the corresponding value? Now x we are giving the value 
for x we are giving the value and y we are getting from the equation by putting that value for x. Now you can put any value uh, x is equal to 0, right? So 6 minus 0, 2 into x will be 0, 6 minus 0 that is 6. If x is 0, y is 6. Then x is minus 3. I will put minus 3. It's, it's our priority. We can do anything. So minus 3 into minus 2 will be minus 6. Minus into minus plus 6. 6 plus 6, this will be 12. Now <coughs> x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4. 2 into 4 will be minus 8. 6 minus 8. So I will get minus 2 here. So the points I got are 0, 6, minus 3, 12, and 4, 2, 4 minus 2. Now, it is not necessary that you should give the same numbers. You can give any number that you want. It's not, I have given my, my, on my, this thing. But what you should see is that you don't get a fraction here. You give a whole number here and you get whole numbers here. So that it, is, it will be easy for you to plot. If you get 6 uh, and a half or 6 and quarter, then it becomes difficult for plotting. See that the coordinates, y coordinates are all whole numbers. They can be either positive or negative, that doesn't matter. So these are the three points you have got. And now you have to plot these points. Now you may give entirely different values. Some other values can be given. You get correspondingly different values for y. You get three points, minimum three points. You get and plot those points on the graph sheet and you will, that will be a straight line. That will be a straight line. It will be a straight line. Similarly, for this also, 2x minus y is equal to 2. So minus uh, y is equal to minus 2x plus 2. So y will be equal to this minus I want to remove. So here it will become 2x minus 2. I have changed all of them to uh, the signs have been changed. If I make this plus, this also becomes plus and this becomes minus. All uh, signs will change. Now again here for this you give three values x, y. Now I will give x is equal to say 6. 6 into uh, 2 into 6 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. So 6, 10 is one point. 6, 10 is the first point I got. Then give some other value, 4. 4, 2 into 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. Then give some other value. Say, you give 9. See, any value you can do. 2 nines are 18. 18 minus 2 is 18 minus 2 is 16. So you got three points again here. First one is 6, 10. The second one is 4, 6. Third one is 9, 16. Now, plot these points. Plot, this is one set of points for 2x plus y is equal to 6. This is another set of three points for the equation. Uh, 2x minus y is equal to 2. You get two straight lines and they will intersect at one particular point. Where they intersect, find out what is the value of x at that point and what is the value of y at that point. So that is the answer. Verify the answer. If you have got any doubt, verify the answer by analytically doing this. You have 2x plus y is equal to 6 and 2x minus y is equal to 2. Now, add in 
if I add y gets eliminated because one is plus one y and the other one is minus one y. So I am left with only x. 2x plus 2x is 4x is equal to 6 plus 2 is 8. Both are positive. So x is 8 by 4. That is 2. x is 2. Now if you put the value of x in one of them, take one equation, substitute the value of x that you have got, you will get the value of y. 2x plus y is equal to 6. So 2 into 2 plus y is equal to 6. That is 4 plus y. So y will be equal to 6 minus 4. That is also 2. Both are 2, 2. So the lines are going to intersect. The lines are going to intersect at the point at the point 2, 2. This is also 2. This is also 2. They are going to intersect like that. And if you get that correctly. Now here 2 into 2 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Both x and y have same value. That is x is 2, y is 2. You can work it out this. Practically you have to work out these problems on the graph sheets and you can give any values you want. There is no mm, rule that you should give only these values. I have given my own values. You can give any value you want. But see that you get whole numbers. Y has whole numbers. Like that you give the values for X. Then one more is there. Now I leave it to you for doing. Uh, I have here I can't solve it. Because on my board I don't have a graph, graphical board. So I can't do it on the board. So I leave it to you. See this in this third paper. Solve graphically. Solve graphically the given equations. He has given again two equations. This is the third problem. I leave it to you to do it. Solve graphically 2x plus y is equal to 8. x minus y is equal to 1. These are the two equations. You can solve it similarly by drawing graph. You can take any number of equations any number of equations can be done, taken and solved and by solving more number of problems, by practicing more, you become more perfect and by that your uh, skill will improve and you can definitely get 4 marks. This is going to come, definitely going to come for 4 marks. Now I told you that there are some chapters have been eliminated. They have removed some chapters for this particular examination because of the ongoing pandemic. So they will increase some of the problems, the allotment for the remaining portions which are there now, the chapters which are there for the examination, they will increase it. So what is what used to be 8 marks, now maybe 9, 10, 11, something like that, in trigonometry also like that, yeah, one problem can be increased in analytical geometry one that is coordinate geometry, one problem can be increased. In quadratic equation, one problem can be increased for two marks, three marks like that. So anyway, this is, uh, on all these, the allotment of marks will be slightly more than what it used to be usually. So usually for this chapter, there used to be eight marks. Now you may expect maybe nine, ten, anything you can expect like that. So yeah, positive on the positive side you can expect an increase and I think you have understood the uh, how you have to solve these problems and this uh, is helpful if it is helpful to you please like it uh, subscribe and suggest it to your friends if you have any dissatisfaction if you are not satisfied with it you can contact me you can inform me my number is there i have given in previous videos 
it will be there in the de description of the video also it will be available you can contact me if you have any doubt any difficulty you can ask me also so i hope that you have understood it and you will get minimum 8 marks from this chapter you will score all the 8 marks that can be scored easily easily this is a very easy chapter you can get all the uh, 8 marks at least 8 marks you will get from this i hope thank you